Now about 200 kindergarten pupils at Sechaduma Methodist Primary School in the Ashanti region are in danger. They take classes in a dilapidated mud structure which can be described as a disaster waiting to happen. Ohimin Teria visited the school and has come through with this report. Built about 70 years ago, the structure first served as classroom facility for the main primary stream of the school. It has since seen no renovation and the harsh weather it is exposed to has forced part to collapse. It leaks badly whenever it rains, leaving poor innocent children and their teachers to their fate. Teachers are compelled to take a recess in between lessons for fresh air outside when temperatures become unbearable high in the classrooms. They will, however, not comment on the issue for obvious reasons. Samuel Osei is a native of Sechedumase who schooled in this structure 44 years ago in 1974 as a class 5 people. I came here in 1974. This is where I had my primary education. And since then, the structure as we entered the cell remained as it is. There have been no renovation, no change, no nothing. So now, when you look at it, it's like a death trap to the peoples down here. So I wish that structure should be demolished and be replaced in order to save life. Yet, there's no immediate solution in sight. The Just Sechedumasi Municipal Assembly says it has no budget for immediate renovation or reconstruction of the block. Mohamed Sali Subamba is chief executive. The kindergarten, it is something that needs serious attention from every government. Not only from Ibrahim Sechidumasi, from every government. We should give our KG so much attention. In some part of the world, if you don't have PhD, you cannot teach KG. I don't know whether you are aware. So I think uh, we have to start by doing our part. Our bigger part that we need to do is provision of uh, infrastructure. Then the teachers and the parents also have their own part to do. Got so good, government has uh, just uh, expanded school feeding program. Some of the schools that we're not having now, we've allocated school, uh, school feeding program to some of them. So going forward, if we're able also to provide them with uh, befitting classrooms, I think it's something that will go a long way. Resources. You can't just say, I want to do when you don't have resources. And as at this hour, uh, we are in March. I think every assembly is done with their budget for 2018. You understand? But things that you need to do, you have to maybe either go to the contingency or find a resources somewhere to be able to do. We've not budgeted for some of these projects, even though we have budgeted for a lot of school projects. Mm -hmm. But for some of the KG, we've not budgeted for it for this year, 2018. Likewise, we've not budgeted for the ICT center. But I, I saw the need of providing ICT center. So when we are going to re review our budget mid-year, there's some, something that we are going to to add to the program, programs that we want to undertake this year. But with regards to the KG block, immediately I'll send the engineers to come and assess the, the project. If we, can, uh, if we can renovate, then we can, re we can do it this year. But if it is something that we need to provide a new structure altogether, probably it has to be next year. Well, Heming Teria with that report.